right, so then you got, if this is not a brand new flavor, you can skip this step. But for me, it is. You got tear the label. Just gonna take a couple of minutes. All right. Now you pull this open, and you're gonna see like a couple lines in here. I don't know. You see, you see that one line there where it's kind of a ring. That's where you want the flavoring to be up to. You fill that up just like that. Looks, and then the best step. Be very carefully. Hi fans, Low Corner Entertainment. Dave coming at you through the power of That's Bad TV. And in today's video, I want to be reviewing probably my favorite kitchen appliance. It's kind of an older version of this product, but one that I think is really worth your money if you're thinking about getting it for yourself or someone else. And that is the Fizzy Icy Blue Soda Stream. And this goes for about $100 on the Soda Stream website. That's 100 Canadian that I've seen for this brand new. Uh, I received it as a gift, and as a disclaimer, as usual, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not being affiliated by SodaStream in any way, shape, or form. This is an honest opinion. All right, so with the SodaStream here, uh, your biggest expense is probably gonna be the cylinder, as well as getting flavors. All right, so to get the cylinder, all you gotta do is pop the back of this off here, and you'll see this cylinder in the back. This is probably your biggest expense after you buy this unit itself. Uh, for me, it lasts a really long time. People would use SodaStream for many things, but this is kind of what I use it for here. Let's do a quick zoom up. These are actually, surprisingly right now, really hard to find in stores. This is the last one I had on stock, actually. But this is kind of a pop, and I'm gonna show you in a second how to make it. But you can use it for like stuff like this, or people use it for just carbonated water, or SodaStream has their own kind of sparkling water flavors. Uh, whatever your use is, this is actually a really good product. And one I think that would be, should be a staple in everybody's kitchen. Your biggest expense, like I said, is going to be flavors like this, or whatever your flavor you choose to do, as well as a cylinder in the back of the machine. Uh, a flavor like this would last me about a month. And I use it every day. Whether that's good or bad, I'm really not sure. Uh, but that's just what I do. All right, camera change, because the old one, the camera I use upstairs really can't handle low lighting. So here's the first thing you do. You go over to the water, you fill it right up. You fill it up to the line. Okay, all right, finally got it. So the next step, you take it, you stick it under there, and then you press, there's a button on the top here. You press it once. And you press it again. And you press it again, then it comes off, and you'll see that it's all kind of bubbly like that. You want that. Alright, so then you got, if this is not a brand new flavor, you can skip this step. But for me, it is. You got to tear the label. It's going to take a couple minutes. Alright, now you pull this open, and you're going to see, like, a couple lines in here. I don't know, you see, you see that one line there where it's kind of a ring? That's where you want the flavoring to be up to. You fill that up just like that. And then, the best step, you very carefully dump it in. Alright. Okay. Now, the next step some people shake it very lightly. That's not how I roll. Now, some people shake it really lightly, but I just take it, shake it a couple times, and I'm gonna let it kind of sit for a second. Now, you don't, now if you see that, that's still a really good sign. I'm gonna sit for a little while longer. I don't want it blowing out of the container. So, once the fizzing kind of pops down, it's a touch. And done. Have a drink, boys. <clears throat> wow, that was really not cool. But overall, I would give the Soda Stream an easy, probably almost perfect score. I would give it a 9 out of 10. But keep in mind, that's just for me. Do 
I think it's worth it for you? Well, let's answer these couple questions. So the first question you gotta ask yourself is, are you an avid pop drinker? Second question is, are you someone who likes sparkling water? Or carbonated water? And are you someone that's trying to be more conscious of how much waste you're producing? And are you trying to have a little bit healthier of an experience and a little bit of a DIY? Why well, just drop a lid? If any and if all these are you, the Soda Stream Fizzy, what I had, the Fizzy Icy Blue, which I'd actually look it up, I didn't know, it's worth it. I can't speak for any other type of Soda Stream, but that one is. All right, so that's it for this video. Bottoms up. And uh, I have a couple more coming, maybe one more for the new year, not 100% sure. But I got some plans for January, guys. Uh, what do you think so far? I know this content is very different from what I used to post, but I'm curious. I'm just trying shit out and seeing what happens. And I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of value in the process if you're thinking about going shopping for your for yourself or family or friends. Because money's tight right now, I get it. We're in a, we're in a pandemic. So I figured, why not try to help you guys out if I can with products that I like. Anyways, I'll see you next video. Uh, and peace out, and if I don't see you before Christmas, please stay safe, don't drink and drive, don't be high and dry, and if you really don't have to travel, don't. But if you do, just be safe, okay? That's all I'm asking. I'm not going to ask you to wear a mask, just be safe, okay? Peace out, everybody.